Good, Good morning, morning Wooten, Wooten Patriots. Patriots. I'm Brandon. And I'm Marie. Today is Friday, November 15th, and these are your morning announcements. Do you have questions or concerns about Wooten that you want the answer to? Ask Nelson is your chance to ask Principal Nelson all your questions. Posters with this QR code can be found around the school. Send Principal Nelson your questions and he'll answer them on the announcements every Wednesday during the wellness lesson. If you're interested in creating and distributing multi-sensory books to neurodivergent children and children with intellectual disabilities, join Readability. Readability is hosting their first club meeting on Wednesday, November 20th in room 175 during lunch. Please reach out to Ava Vizes or contact Coach K for questions. We hope to see you there. Did you order merchandise from the Barbecue Club? You can pick it up today during advisory and lunch in Mrs. Bower's room 150. The Classic Autism Program is selling friendship bracelets and cookies in the Commons during advisory every Monday. Take your pick between freshly baked chocolate chip cookies or double chocolate chip cookies. For just $3, you can buy a friendship bracelet gifted with one cookie, or for $5, you can buy a friendship bracelet gifted with two cookies. Please bring cash only. All proceeds go towards our program's community trips. Wooten's Literally Magazine is, post, is hosting its annual fundraiser Coffee House on November 22nd at 7 p.m. in the Commons. Coffee House is a live performance event with complimentary foods and drinks. Magazines will also be sold. Wooten students are invited to sign up to perform by Monday, November 18th. Writers, poets, musicians, and singers are all welcome. Tickets are $5 and will be sold in the Commons during lunch starting November 18th as well as the door. Club Photo Day is coming up on November 22nd. Club sponsors have been sent an email on how to print Club Photo Day passes for their students, as well as the time for their club photos. Students must have an official yearbook pass signed by their club sponsor if they want to be in a club photo. Club leaders, make sure you plan a meeting in the next two weeks where students can pick up their Club Photo Day passes. Did you see the fall play last week? Well, if you've not seen the game to yours yet, you still have two more chances tonight and Saturday night. Buy your tickets now to see Disney princesses fight to the death for the control of the kingdom. Heads roll roll and the blood will splatter. Come cheer on your friends in this show that you won't want to miss. This show is PG-13. Tickets are on sale now at www.cura.com. It's time to register for winter sports season. Now is your chance to be a part of the following winter sports. Boys and girls basketball, wrestling, indoor track swim and dive, and winter cheer. Palms and bocce. Tryouts for most sports are today, November 15th. Registrations are on Parent View. If you need help, go to wootensports.com and use the directions for registration. You can also contact athletic specialist Mr. Lightsey with questions or concerns. And now for today in sports. Congratulations to the Wooten Varsity Girls Volleyball Team for defeating Howard three games to zero and advancing to the state championships game this Saturday at 4.30 p.m. versus North Hagerstown High School. The game is at Hartford Community College. Come out and support Wooden Girls Volleyball. Come support Wooden Varsity and JV Ice Hockey games tonight, Friday, November 15th, and next week, Friday, November 22nd, 2024. As we get closer to Thanksgiving break and we start to think about what we are grateful for in our lives, Wooten TV will be bringing you daily information about Thanksgiving. Today's fun fact is that Sarah Joseph Hale lobbied Congress for years to make Thanksgiving an official holiday. If it wasn't for this determined woman, Thanksgiving wouldn't exist today. Hale's allegiance to Thanksgiving began in 1827 and was based in national pride. She hoped to make it permanently an American custom and institution. It wasn't until 1863 that President Lincoln finally declared Thanksgiving an international holiday. Seeing as the president did this in the throes of the Civil War, Thanksgiving is considered by some to be an attempt on behalf of the president to bring some peace back to the country. Now for today's Fun Fact Friday. Your brain is constantly eating itself, always. It never stomps, not for a second. That's it for us today. I'm Brandon. And I'm Marie. Remember to walk the Wooten way as you walk wise and drive wise. Have a great weekend, Wooten.